If a boozy dessert in a glass sounds like a good time to you, then you have to try my chocolate martini. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Connell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. This martini will be ready before you know it. Let's get started. <laughs> to make this cocktail, you'll need vodka, Bailey's Irish cream, and chocolate liqueur. Today, I'm using Godiva, but you could definitely use a creme de cacao too. It's a really similar flavor and no one will know. To decorate the glass, I'm making a really easy chocolate ganache with chocolate and hot cream. Add the chocolate to a bowl and then pour scalded cream over. That's very hot cream. Let it sit for a minute, then give it a stir. If your ganache is lumpy, just pop it back into the microwave for 25 seconds and then give it a final stir. All right, let's add some ice into our cocktail shaker. Fill your shaker up about halfway with ice. And now four ounces of vodka. In you go. Two ounces of Bailey's Irish cream. And now two ounces of Godiva. This will make a generous sized drink so you'll have enough for a glass and maybe a little bit extra too. There's nothing wrong with a top off. Cap on and time to shake it up really well. Today I'm making one cocktail, but the blog post has a recipe for two. My cocktail's ready to pour, but let's garnish the glass really quickly. It's an optional step, but it adds a lot. Add your ganache to a piping bag with the tip cut off or a plastic bag, and then just pipe a swirl. Now we're gonna do a chocolate lip, so. Have a plate with some chocolate on it and just dip the rim in. There you go. This is the part that you're actually gonna taste, so don't skimp. Ready to pour, in you go. Look at that amazingness. This cocktail's ready to drink, but no one will say no to a little bit of extra shaved chocolate on top. Shaved chocolate is the perfect garnish, but mind your fingers, it's actually better to have a thicker piece of chocolate than this, so get a big block. Use a knife and shave it downwards. Do not try and cut into the chocolate. You're shaving it just like you would your skin. If you want more of a chocolate curl, break out a hairdryer or a heat gun. Just hit the chocolate for a moment and then give it a shave and you'll have beautiful curls. I hope you enjoyed this drink. Before I take a sip, don't forget to check out my chocolate playlist. It's so good with those little chocolate chunks in there. You've got to add those too. Oh, chocolate perfection. I'll see you in the next video.